Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in magnetic vector potential and magnetic flux. In this problem, the magnetic vector potential is given as A vector is equal to minus rho squared by 4 A z bar vapor per meter. Calculate the total magnetic flux crossing the surface phi is equal to pi by 2 rho value is greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to 2 meter and z value is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 5 meter. Okay, so now we are going to find out the total magnetic flux crossing the given surface. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data. So the vector magnetic potential A vector is equal to minus rho squared by 4 A z bar. So in this one, only the A z component is given. Correct. So here A rho and A phi values are 0. So here A z is equal to minus rho squared by 4. So from this magnetic vector potential, we can find out the magnetic flux density B vector. From this B vector, we can find out the total magnetic flux crossing the given surface area. So first we are going to find out the magnetic flux density using the formula del cross A vector. Okay, so in this problem, the vector potential is given in terms of cylindrical coordinates rho phi z. So we are going to use the curl formula in cylindrical coordinate system. So here the del cross A vector can be written as 1 by rho A rho rho A phi A z dou by dou rho dou by dou phi dou by dou z A rho A phi and A z. So here we can substitute the values of A rho A phi and A z. So here A rho and A phi values are 0. Here A z value is minus rho squared by 4. Okay, then we can solve this matrix operation. Then we can get 1 by rho into A rho of dou by dou phi. So here we can take dou by dou phi of minus rho squared by 4 minus 0 minus rho A phi into dou by dou rho of minus rho squared by 4 minus 0. And then plus A z bar of dou by dou rho of 0 minus dou by dou phi of 0. Okay, so next we are going to simplify this expression. So we are going to differentiate with respect to phi. So here there is no phi term, then this term becomes 0. Okay, so here we are going to differentiate with respect to rho. Then we can get minus 2 rho by 4. Then this term as 0. Okay. So next we are going to simplify this further. So here we can get minus rho by 2. We can multiply this minus rho inside this. Then we can get 1 by rho into rho squared by 2 a phi. So a rho and a z components are 0. Okay. So next we can simplify this further to get the magnetic flux density that is rho by 2 a phi. Its unit is vapor per meter square. So now we have obtained the magnetic flux density from the magnetic vector potential A. So after getting this B value, we are going to find out the total magnetic flux psi. So psi is equal to surface integration of magnetic flux density. So here we can have the field component A phi, then we can consider the surface area with respect to rho and z. So here we can take the surface integration of this rho by 2 with respect to rho and z. Do you all understand this one? Then we have to substitute the limits for z and rho in this formula. z value is from 0 to 5, rho value is from 1 to 2. So this 1 by 2 is a constant, we can take it outside. Then we are going to integrate with respect to rho. We can get rho squared by 2. We can take this 1 by 2 outside and substitute the limits 1 to 2. We can get 1 by 4 integration of z is equal to 0 to 5, 4 minus 1. So rho squared, right? So upper limit is 2 squared minus 1 squared. 
So we can get 3 into dz. We can take this 3 outside as a constant and then we are going to integrate with respect to z. We can get the value as z and limit is from 0 to 5. So we can get 5 minus 0, its value is 5. So 3 by 4 into 5, the answer is 3.75 Weber. So this is the answer, okay?